We will start things out here at 125 pounds in your NAIA final between the Grandview Vikings and the Life University Running Eagles. The Running Eagles coming in as the number six seed, upsetting the number two and number three ranked teams in NAIA, Providence and Indiana Tech. And Grandview looking for their eighth straight NAIA national dual crown, which would be a record. I believe they are tied right now with Wartburg of Division Three, both with seven titles. And Grandview is looking for number eight, which would be historic under the head coaching duties of Nick Mitchell for the Grandview Vikings. The coin toss is done. We'll go to 125 pounds here for the Grandview Vikings is the number one ranked 125 pounder in the nation. His name is Justin Portillo. He has a twin brother that wrestles for Nebraska Kearney, Josh Portillo. Both of these boys came way of South Dakota State. And then last year at semester, they both transferred. One went to Grandview and one went to Nebraska Kearney. Josh Portillo is ranked number two in Division Two, And Justin Portillo is ranked number one at NAIA. Justin Portillo will have Randy McRae Jr., for Life University. Portillo, a very good wrestler on his feet. I have known these boys for a while when they were at, uh, at South Dakota State wrestling at some open tournaments. I've always known him as Portillo, so I apologize. As we already have a point in our match, hands to the face called by Randy McRae Jr. McRae Jr. Just gave a point to Portillo after uh, the hands to the face. That's a new rule this year, ladies and gentlemen, with the ref's discretion. If you're poking the, your uh, opponent in the face, which McRae did right below the headgear, that's a point. Unnecessary roughness, one point. I believe it might actually be unsportsmanlike. One point for Justin Portillo. As I was saying before, I've always known uh, Justin and Josh as uh, the last name is Portillo. So uh, I apologize later on if I uh, accidentally say Portillo or throughout the duel if I say something in, the, in regards to um, how their match went saying Portillo. I'll try my best to say Portillo. Justin Portillo wrestling here for Grandview against Randy McRae Jr. of Life who already gave up a point to hands to the face. Minute 45 left here in the first period. I'm John Peterson bringing you live play-by-play -play coverage of the NAIA National Duel Final between the Life University Running Eagles and the Grandview Vikings here on Fox College Sports. Minute and a half left here in the first. McRae. finds himself down 1-0 trying to get his offense going here. Level changes left and right. Portillo a little bit shorter than McRae. So he has the advantage there of getting in on those long legs of McRae if he has a chance here. Minute eight left here in the first period. Both wrestlers trying a couple fake shots. Some shots away from the body. No takedowns yet. Minute left. There's a shot there by Portillo. Trying to work around the corner. Great job for McRae. Squaring up with Portillo. With 49 seconds left here in the first. No points on the offensive side scored yet. Portillo with a one point. Hands to the face call that McRae gave to him early in the first. Very early in the first. 30 seconds to go. Both wrestlers exchanging attacks there. And a stall call on McRae. McRae backing out of bounds. With 30 seconds to go here in the first. First stall call on McRae. One more and he will be ding for a point. 23 seconds left here in the first. Portillo doing a great job of controlling the wrist here from the neutral position. 14 seconds to go here in the first period. Back and forth we go. Exchanging some risk control from both wrestlers here as time runs out in the first. 1-0 lead, Justin Portillo, the number one ranked 125-pounder at NAIA for his Grandview Vikings against Randy McRae Jr. of Grandview, excuse me, of Life University. Life University 
Number six seed, number seven overall in NAIA against Grandview, the, the number one seed and the number one ranked team in NAIA. Defending national champions. 148 left here in the second. We'll go on our feet to start things here in the second, halfway through our match. We start our second period off the way we ended our first period. And there is a snap through attempt there by McCray. Off the right side, no points, we're out of bounds. Nice attempt there by McCray, trying to snap through on the right side with that arm instead of using a two-on-one tie or a drag out. McCray tried to snap through and no points given. Minute and a half left here in the second. Both wrestlers tied up here in the middle of the max. 1-0 lead for Portillo. Portillo doing a great job. Collar tie on the right side. McCray tried to old-fashioned shook off to the right side. No points. Great job of Portillo facing McCray. And we're on the side of the mats. With under a minute to go here in the seconds, there's a shot by Portillo. And McCray will get away from it. And we're out of bounds. And it'll be stall call on Portillo. Portillo will get called for stalling this time. Instead of shooting him out of bounds, it looked like Portillo was actually just pushing him out of bounds. There wasn't anything from the ref's discretion showing that I'm trying to stay in bounds and get a takedown. He just ran off bounds. Round, uh, he just ran out of bounds and McCray couldn't circle in. So a stall call against Portillo. Both wrestlers with a, with a stall call with 25 seconds left here in the second. Portillo working on the right side here with that 2 on one tie. 15 seconds to go in the second. Both wrestlers trying to circle back in. With just under 10 seconds to wrestle in the second. And that will be the end of your second. We'll go to the third and final period. We've spent five minutes on our feet with the lone point coming very early in the first period after McCray put hands to the face to Portillo to give him a point and the lead. Now Portillo will have his choice. He'll pick down to start the third and final period. Caution called on Portillo, not, not starting in the right position, and that gives McCray a chance to think about it, and he's just going to let him up. Portillo is going to get a one-point escape and a 2-0 lead. McCray, instead of riding Portillo, he's going to just let him go. One-point escape. Minute 50 left in this match. Who's going to get on the board first, Grandview or Life? The shot by Portillo. McCray gets out of it nicely. We're back up on our feet. Minute 38 left. There's a nice shot there by McCray. McCray is going to go scrambling with Portillo. Diving from the backside and coming up for a two-point takedown. Great job there by Portillo. The moment that his feet were exposed, and it looked like that McCray was going to get two points. Portillo dove underneath, got in the scrambling position, split the middle, and came out from the backside and got the two-point takedown. Portillo in... The offensive position right now. He's in the driver's seat. 4-0 lead. A takedown, a point from hands to the face, and an escape. Minute left here in the third period. Portillo approaching around 30 seconds of riding time. And 50 seconds to go in the third. McCray's got to be thinking of doing something here from the bottom. Stalling called on McCray. McCray gets called for stalling. Insurance point for Portillo. McCray not moving from the bottom to the ref's discretion. There's an insurance point. 5-0 and now a minute of riding time for the number one ranked 125 pounder in NAIA. Great start for the Graham View Vikings as they look for their eighth title in national duel history. Potentially dangerous called, and we'll restart with 16 seconds. There's a reason why he's number one in the nation. He starts things out right here for Grandview Vikings. His name's Justin Portillo. 16 seconds to go. Minute 
Bottom guy sets. Top guy on. And right off the bat, that'll be a one-point escape for McCray. He's got some work to do here. Ten seconds to go. Feet to back. We'll tie this match up. And McCray is not going to get anything to go. And Justin Portillo and the Grandview Vikings will start out this NAIA final. 3-0. Great win by Mr. Justin Portillo.